year and a happy new year to you oh my goodness yes your girl is sitting here and she is still pregnant <laughs> January is the year of writing goals and visions and resolutions and da -da -da, whatever you want to call it and I thought I would just give you my little two pence as to some of the things that I do and what I usually practice so some of you if you've been watching me for a while you would know that I usually don't write my goals for the new year in January I usually write them in September and in the rest of the Burr months that's October, November, December, I spend that time preparing myself for January, putting those things into uh, into action, doing the work that I can so that come January, I am hitting the ground running. With that being said, because I spent most of 2016 being pregnant, I didn't, I didn't put that pressure on myself in September because I felt like some of the things that I know that I want to do, I wouldn't physically be able to do that and not only that but some of the goals that I have have just continued from the previous year but for those of you who like to write your goals in January and you know fresh starts here, here's some of the tips that I like to do now I let me just get it hang on now <laughs> I have a vision board and I'm not going to show you what's on there because it's quite personal to me uh, but this is this that I'm looking at is the front and this is the back so but I would recommend getting yourself a little vision board and just sticking things on it that you aspire to achieve or things that you would like to have things that you want to happen in your life and I would say to place it where you are always going to sit so I always place it on my desk because that's where I get my work done that's where I get my makeup done so on a daily basis I'm always at my desk for, and it doesn't have to be covered with stuff just start gradually if it's something that you've never done before like maybe start with one or two things or maybe maximum of three things and just work towards it that way you're not overwhelming yourself with too many goals obviously if you do have loads of stuff because mine's completely covered but this is being said that mine isn't just on a yearly basis these are things that I've put on my board from like a couple of years ago some of the things on my vision board I've actually achieved and some of them I've you know I've actually I've got them now they're tangible to me and I haven't taken them down it's just like a testimony that these things work so I've left them there and I have put more stuff and all that kind of jazz because so, I'm a visual person this is what works for me not only that but I also like to write lists I all I'm always writing a list for everything also I also do that for the year as well so write a list of the things that you want to achieve if this is something that you are new to or you find that you write these things down and you never achieve them here's an idea keep your goals small keep them short and brief so maybe no more than three items on your list of things to achieve in the year now for me personally when I am working on this sort of keep it to three things what I like to do is have a goal that is like so dead like simple that of course I'm going to achieve it last year I'm going to share this with you now last year one of my goals was to keep up with my eyebrows I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous but it was like no do not let your eyebrows get completely bushy to a point because I find that I've always been very scatty with my brows and I'm not the best person at the whole eyebrow game and keeping your eyebrows on fleek and all that but I, I said to myself last year just do your best to make sure that you go to a beauty salon and get your eyebrows shaped every two weeks timely don't let your eyebrows get scatty and if they do get scatty get your tweezers and pluck. that was one of my goals I'm just telling you this now because I am talking about it now uh, you know this is something very achievable but it's something that I never did so I was like I can do this right so think about something along those lines not necessarily eyebrows it could be anything another thing that I would say to have on your list keep it as something that is um something that you can physically do that it's going to be hard work but it's up to you for you to achieve it so it could be like I don't know you're currently studying and you want to get an A 
in a particular assignment or you want to get a dis um you want to get a distinction for your degree this is something that is very achievable if you put your mind to it it's not like something that is a miracle and hocus but no no these are things that you put your mind to it you can do it and the third type of goal i like to list down on my things to do i like to call these goals it is only God kind of goals. Do you understand what I'm saying? Those kind of goals that you really have to apply your your faith. Like, you can only do so much. The rest, you have to put in God's hands. Be I say that because these goals will really test your faith. And it will really put your faith in action oh you have a relationship with god you are saying god i believe in you i know that you can do this for me these are the type of goals that i have those sort of goals on my um vision board and it's like how is that even possible but you know it is only god but you can only do so much with those kind of goals it's like okay i did this i took it as much as i can and then you know god carried me the rest of the way those kind of goals are the goals that will make the house shake by the end of the year when you when it's when it's testimony time you're like god is so real god is so real it's not just praying about it and believing in it you also have to you know put in the work so you know the bible says that faith without works is dead you know so keep that in mind so you, you know that you're doing everything you can but also pray about it fast about it you know um confess it all the time so that you know this thing can actually become real whatever it is that you're hoping for and dreaming for could actually become real in your life those are my favorite type of goals to do personally for example, there's something that my husband likes to say. He always uses studying as an as an analogy. If you're studying, for example, to revise and to read as if you haven't prayed and to pray as if you haven't read. So could you imagine you're praying, 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 praying about this thing and then you're working, 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 working towards this thing these two these two paths they have to meet in the middle they have something has to happen do you understand i hope i've given you some ideas on how to write them and how to implement them in your life yes thank you so much for watching um if you have any more tips and tricks them comment below sharing is caring i'd love to know what are some of your goals for this year and don't forget to thumbs up my videos if you haven't subscribed i don't know what on earth are you waiting for just don't forget to hit that bell button so you can be notified whenever i have a new video i don't want you to miss out until my next video think smart work hard to make it happen bye